Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to play Eight Days a Week by Paul McCartney, early Beatles tune. This is the first in a mini series of Beatles tunes, um, and especially the early work that I'm going to cover. Um, before we get started with the intro, if you're not a member of my free monthly e zine, click on the link underneath the video, go to my website, find the subscribe button and subscribe. It's free, just cost your email address. In return, you'll get a sequence of four unique video and PDF lessons, song tutorial lessons, very much like this, a bit more detail but you get PDFs as well with notation and tab. Plus every month I also cover a song, um, again this is unique to the members, people who've subscribed to that mailing list and again each month that's a video and PDF tutorial and you won't be able to see it or get access to that PDF unless you're a member. So click on the link underneath, head over and do that um, and let's move on with the lesson and let's go and look at the intro to eight days a week. Okay the intro is a four bar sequence, we're only using one note which is D, the seventh fret of the G string. I'll, I'll play, the, play the pattern, it's just triplets, two, three, four. bars is just literally triplets so three notes for each quarter note um, or for each beat okay the verse is an eight bar section made up of a four bar pattern played twice this four bar pattern also crops up in the chorus as well um, and it's kind of a very straightforward quarter note walking style line I'll play it through and then we'll talk through the notes three four <laughs> which we'll do in a second. So let's look at that four bar pattern. Um, the first bar, which will say the fourth bar as well, is D, seventh fret of the G string, B, fourth fret of the G string, A, seventh fret of the D string, F sharp, fourth fret of the D string. Then the next one is E, I'm using second finger there, seventh fret of the A string, G sharp, sixth fret of the D string, B, ninth fret of the D string, back to G sharp, the sixth fret. Then G, fifth fret of the D string, B, fourth fret of the D string, D, sorry, fourth fret of the G string for B, D, seventh fret of the G string, back to B, and then we've got the original pattern, D, B, A, F sharp, which are the seventh and fourth frets of the G string, and the seventh and fourth frets of the D string. So that four bar pattern again, D, B, A, F sharp, E, G sharp, B, G sharp, G, B, D, B, D, B, A, F sharp, and then that just repeats. On to the chorus, which starts on B. Let's go and look at the chorus. Okay, the chorus is another eight bar section, um, but the second four bars of the chorus are identical to the four bar pattern we learnt in the verse. I'll play through the entire chorus, um, then we'll go through it. Two, three, four. Um, okay, note wise, the first four bars have this rhythmic pattern um, quarter note and then three pairs of swing eighth notes. And it's all root notes. So the first bar is B, fourth fret of the G string, then down to G, fifth fret of the D string, back to B, down to E, seventh fret of the A string. And then you've got that pattern we learnt in the verse, with no variation, identical pattern. Okay, after the first chorus you go back and play verse 2, 
identical to the verse we've looked at, and then you pay chorus to identical to what we've just looked at. Then the next section is a bridge, another 8 bar section. Let's go and look at that. The bridge is an 8 bar section, um, quarter note pulse throughout, very straightforward. I'll play it through and we'll talk through it. One, two, three, four. back to the verse. So quarter notes and just root notes. Um, first two bars are A, seventh fret of the D string. Then we've got two bars of B, fourth fret of the G string. Then down to two bars of E, seventh fret of the A string. Then a bar of G, fifth fret of the D string. Bar of A, seventh fret of the D string. Okay, and then we're back to the verse. The only other section we need to look at, there's a chorus variation um, on the very last chorus with the outro. So we'll go and look at that. Okay, the very last chorus after verse 4. Um, there's a chorus identical to the chorus that we looked at uh, a few minutes ago in this section or in this lesson um, and then there's like a four bar tag and then there's an outro. I'm going to play through the entire fourth chorus going to the outro and then we'll talk through how it's made up. Three, four. So, the first eight bars is the chorus as normal. And then you've got then you've got a four bar tag which is made up of the last two bars of the chorus played twice. go through those notes and um, we did the locations when we did this pattern in the verse because it's from the, the pattern we've used in the verse it's G B D B D B A F sharp and that pattern repeats and then you've got the outro you've got three bars of D playing triplets just hold the last D. They're all the seventh frets of the G string. Um, now you can take those sections um, and learn them and then put them together and you'll be able to play through the song. On the page where I embed this video on my website I will put a detailed roadmap so you can just consult that and just check everything and check that you've got um, all the right parts. So I hope you enjoyed that and use it to get you through um, eight days a week. Great little tune to play. Um, I'll catch you in the next lesson in this mini-series of Beatles tunes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.